Thanks to the E-Type Club, we've just had a massive adventure recreating scenes from the Italian job in Turin. Now this mini doesn't normally look like this, so I thought you might like to see how I've converted it without damaging the car. Now the most obvious addition are the lights. We bent up a piece of tube based on an original photo from the film and then bolted it through the overriders. We used some Mark I overriders here that have the extra hole in the side. That saved us mounting the bar straight to the bodywork. We put a small bracket at the top to stop the whole thing swivelling forwards and then welded on some little plates for the Sibi Oscar lights to go on. Now the grills are made on a laser cutter. So we have some layers of plastic here and the mesh. OK, so they're not original, but they look the part, particularly in photographs. The ones for the headlights were slightly harder because they've got a curved surface. So uh, I couldn't just use the flat design that I used for the main lights. The other problem was powering the lights. This car's still on the dynamo, so putting an extra 13 and a half amps through that didn't seem sensible, particularly when we were in Italy. So what I did was I used a jump start pack and just plugged it straight into there. That gave us the look we're after and would last an hour. Now the other obvious feature are the bonnet straps. I bought these just as belts online, cut them to length and then used double-sided sticky to cover the whole length of the belts because I didn't want them fretting against the paintwork. Double-sided sticky is the type you get to stick credit cards to envelopes. So uh, I'm just hoping that this comes off neatly and doesn't destroy the paintwork. Happily, it seems to be working. Although it's a bit stickier than I hoped. And there we go, a bit of a clean and nobody will ever know. The GB badge is just magnetic. Then for the roll cage, we have a piece of cardboard tube painted silver. So there you go, the Mini's back to normal, ready for its next adventure, and I've got a kit of bits that I can convert it back to an Italian job car whenever I like.